Right, big breakthrough in genetics today. I'm going to explain what the Encyclopedia for DNA Elements, the ENCO project, means for human genetics with the help of my trusty ping pong balls, some string, a bit of tape, a few paper clips, and some cherry tomatoes. Right, here we have a section of human DNA, the human genome. The blacked out ping pong balls are bits of DNA that we uh, previously didn't know what they did. And the red bits here by tomatoes are genes. Now, a decade ago, the Human Genome Project gave us a complete list of the three billion letters that make up the human genetic code. And people said at the time that we had the book of life. Now, it turned out it was harder to read than we expected. When we looked at all these genes and all the DNA, scientists found only 20,000 genes. And that makes up about 2 to 3% of all our DNA. But the question became, what does the rest of this DNA do? In this model, the black balls. It was mysterious. People didn't know what it was. They actually called it the genomic dark matter, the dark matter of the genome. Or worse still, junk DNA. For a while, scientists weren't sure if it did anything at all. Thanks to the ENCO project, we now know what most of our DNA does. These newly revealed regions, the white uh, ping pong balls, these uh, are sections of DNA um, highlighted by the ENCO project. Their role is to control what happens with our genes. And in this analogy, I'm using the cherry tomatoes. So the majority of our DNA is not making proteins to build our cells and such like. What it's actually doing is controlling how these genes work. That might mean they're acting as switches to turn them off and turn them on, and where and when in the body that happens. Or they may act like volume controls, turning a gene up, turning a gene down a little bit. So what use is all of this? Well, first off, it will help scientists understand how our genes operate in our bodies. These switches are incredibly crucial to what genes are doing in our bodies, and they will make the difference, for example, between how our body makes a liver cell as opposed to a kidney cell. Perhaps more importantly, the ENCO project will help understand what goes wrong in scores of diseases where there's some genetic element. Now, scientists have already used the ENCO data to identify 400 of these switches in the genome which feed through into diseases and other medical problems. And that is surely just the beginning of it. 